hope it doesn't look too bad on the uh, camera, but it's pretty bad. Hang on. Can't walk on it. <laughs> I'll get back in. So this is the road into Lagoon Creek Gold Mine. Definitely not all wheel drive, is it Phil? Definitely not. Phil's standing in one of the ruts. Uh, so you can see the Challenger up there. So we got about, we got within 500 metres of the mine. But so we're going to walk down the last 500 metres. Only trouble is we've got to walk back up and it's so steep. But anyway, that'll be good exercise. Yeah, don't slip over. <laughs> It'd be alright if you could stay either side of it. my shadow there. Yeah, there's a diff slide. These are big tyres too. I don't know what vehicle it is. There's another bit here even worse. So I think we were right to walk the last bit. I mean I wanted to drive down just so I didn't have to walk back up but yeah it's just it's not a it's like a creek bed. Yeah sunny corner. Taller than me. <laughs> yeah, diff drag marks all the way, so we probably made the right decision. Ah, oh, okay. There was a tree too. Cut it up. Anyway, we keep going. Dirt bike up here, would you? So they must have had a lot of water in here. Oh, not so long ago either. Yeah. So the creek might be flowing. You get an idea from your height of how deep it is. That is a rut. Oh, I shouldn't have got in that. Oh, Phil. Yeah, got a lot of muck in there. How's your new boots? Yeah, my new boots, I christened them, didn't I? <laughs> Yeah, this is part of a wall. More walls down here. 
and it's getting steeper as we go down this gully. Down to the mines are up there. We've got a bit of water running in, not a yeah. lot, but um, is there gold in the crevice? Because it's mine. I drove you in here, so. Actually, if there's any in there, you might find it in the sand. Yeah. Down in there. If yeah, it should be in the bottom, shouldn't it? Yeah, it should be in the bottom. Well, we haven't found the actual mine site yet, though. Oh, there's a bit of concrete there, Phil, I think. I think there's a bit of concrete there because all this rubble here has come out of a mine, isn't it? See, this is a mine here. Oh, yeah. Okay. No, it's a, yeah, it's a dry stacked wall. So this is a mine here. Uh, when Phil brings his torch up, we'll have a little look. This is all the stuff that's coming. That's actually the entrance there. It's overgrown. It's heavily overgrown. So we've got Phil's torch, which is really nice. We'll get a better idea of what's in there. Oh yeah. I don't know how you'd get down there. You'd have to be more fit than me. I definitely couldn't get in there. Phil might be able to, if I push him. <laughs> oh, someone's coming down. Oh, it's a trail bike. We can hear people coming down, but we think it's a trail bike. Otherwise, we're going to be shamed if it's like a Suzuki or something. How embarrassing, Phil. No, it's a trail bike. You see the seam in this? Is that a seam? No, I'm just, I did ask you. Phil says it's a seam. Phil's done a lot of mining. <laughs> He's rolling. He's rolling in his eyes. Did it hit something? Yeah. I thought that was the side it hit. Oh, yeah, the first one was the side. Well, I'll try again another one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, Sound like timber. Yeah, definitely got to be careful here. Completely miss that. Uh, or it could be a bucket. Maybe they. Oh, look, the, this, this is a. The, at the front is a door that opens up. I'm coming out.
the further you get in, yeah, the less there are. Oh yeah. Yeah, Phil's going to tell us what it was like going inside that drive, at it, tunnel. What do we call it? Mine. Mine. <laughs> what was it like? On, on the way in, there's plenty of these little mozzies. nets, mozzies. But if you Did go, they bite you? No, I didn't get bitten. Okay. But it there's swarms of, put, of them. Yeah, it puts you off. But if by the time you get into about uh, 10 metres, there's nothing. And it's just a clear, nice, empty mine shaft. And you just, it just goes on and on, as you can see in the video. I think shaft is down, isn't it? Yeah. So that's, that's a drive yeah, or something. Yeah that, just, yeah, that sounds right. We'll work it out. Yeah. So, yeah, if you, if you do get here and you find this one. Which is by uh, the creek. By the creek, where there's a... More adventurous than I am, you can go a long way in the cave. Or younger. Or younger, in, in the in the shaft. Yeah. Mine. And, um, yeah, if you look closely at the video, when we're looking up the last bit, it appears to be a hump in the floor like the roof is f caved in. But mm. it, I'd say you'd better climb over if you're game, but I didn't go that far. Mm. No, no, fair enough. Very good. No one's going to move this. No. So we don't think anyone's going to move that. So from the other side of the creek, which is where you would walk in, when you see this, you'll see this bucket thingy. And this bit here is the entrance to the little uh, drive or whatever we call it. Uh, this is another wall, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's well hidden, very well hidden, but the bucket gives it away. Look at the... Stuff that's come out of there. Unbelievable. That's better, isn't it? The sun has just cast in my shadow on this. Whatever it is. And uh, this here, this here is semi-circular, so we think there might be a tank of some sort. Because mm. Phil found some other bits that were c circular too, so put together might be a tank. Mm. But it's definitely man-made, there's no, no doubt about that. Yeah, definitely man-made. Concrete, bricks. We've got bricks, we've got concrete. This is a chunk of steel under here. Yeah, there's definitely. A bit there's steel. Another one of those bucket things or whatever they are. Yeah. Bricks. Brick wall. So these bricks, Phil, are probably 200 year old bricks, aren't they? Oh, easy. But fancy, they would have. I wonder if they have made them here or they brought them in. Brought them in? God, can you imagine? I'm here. Look how big that wall is. That's pretty substantial. Yeah. Yeah, Phil's just noticed that this is curved, which is true. Yeah, but the. I mean, it's probably been 100 years at least, isn't it? Maybe more. And it's just. So much has grown over it. You can't see where you're going. You've got to be very careful too. Obviously, there's those. Oh, there's another. This is another tank. Can we see another tank? You can really see the circular. Oh yeah. Thing here and that tree. I mean, that tree's old, isn't it? Yeah. That's right in the middle of it. So this is pretty not old, old, but it's, fairly it's, old. It's, it's post. That's been a seed, hasn't it? Yeah, that's post whatever was here. Yeah, it's a tank of some sort. I wonder what they put in it. I know they use some sort of really... They use some sort of nasty chemicals to process gold, don't they? Yeah. Oh. Got another mine for Phil. Oh, no. I hope that tree's not going to fall. Oh, yeah. Hey? Oh, he definitely goes up. But, yeah, there's a wall of some sort up there. Yeah. Oh, maybe this is the one that goes out and you can sort of see daylight. Could be. But you can see how this is gradually filled in. Yeah. The bottom, yeah. God. No, we're not going 
going in there, are we? No. We're not going in that one. This is the opposite of what the national parks do. Here, there's no signs. There's no safety. Um, I, I imagine national parks and wildlife would have closed all this off. Uh, You see how high it is, it would have been hell to get out of here by horseback and carts. That's all. Horseback and Yeah, I think they got funding from England, but the mine never ever produced enough gold so that the people who uh, put their money up never got their money back, probably. But yeah, this does look like it's been, like a quarry, it's been dug out. It's kind of unbelievable. But yeah, if this was in a national park, it'd be probably fenced off. I mean, it is dangerous. The shaft's everywhere and they're overgrown, so you can't even see where you're putting your feet. I don't know how they've done it. These old boys were tough, weren't they, Phil? Yeah. These are all solid. These are all solid. get the impression you could come in here for years and still never find everything because it's covered in vegetation and it's, it's such an extensive area. That's a, that's a solid, I don't, just, I don't know if that's a pipe, I think it's just solid. Yeah, this is solid, look at it, big solid steel. substantial. Yep, I'm pretty sure you could explore and explore and explore if you live close by. You could pop in here every weekend and still find stuff. Wouldn't you? They must have been in here a lot with metal detectors too, trying their luck. Yeah, there's a structure here with threaded rods. So there's been stuff mounted here. Smaller dam. There's water running just in the corner. It must have dried out considerably since the time they built this. I mean the seepage, but there's no there's no pool here. See, this is not quite as substantial as the industrial ruins at Nunes, but it's pretty important. Yeah, it's just surprising me how, the, the, how different the cultures are. Like, this is state forest, so there's no preservation, there's no signs, there's no paths. Anyway, I'm just going to have a look at these rocks. Okay. Benny, 
anybody ask it, you can say, yeah, been there, done that. Yeah. Did you really go down there? <laughs>